Alright guys, what is going on? Alright, no. <laughs> Jeez, right. Alright guys, what is going on? It is Mike or MKRB17 here bringing quite a different video today, I guess you could say. I'm doing a, a, a snapshot video. Mm. Yeah, that's different. Because I, I thought, as. Oh, my big creative well, thing. Ignore that. So I thought that they just bring out the new one and it's just after the 1.4.5 release I think and um, I just thought hmm this one's only a bit small if I, could, I might do this one and then do a few more as well see how this one goes and and uh, maybe continue on with the more with more doing that uh, so getting straight into this one of the first things they have added in to this snapshot is a uh, never brick stairs so as you can see here no, stairs slabs and I, I was gonna say stairs I think they've already got stairs it's more or less like like any other slab so you got your three bits here let's get some wood oh my god my mouse is really dodge wait um no no I'm not uh, right okay so like any other slab you would put them in a three like that and the same with this one you would just put them in a three like that and then it'd give you six like any of the others so I've done a little thing here just to show how what they're like just going in the back of my enchanting thing here that's something different as well but yeah that's that's pretty cool I quite like that now the next thing they have added um that's not needed is um enchanted books yeah so this one's a bit bit different I guess. Um, so more or less with this one, you'd go up to an enchanting table with a book that you would have made using the ingredients that you would need and you pick one of the things. I'm going to do this a few times and then pick the highest. Right, this one here. This one is protection 3 on it, okay? So what you can do with these is if you created the anvil like in uh, some of the, one of the previous updates it's just come out um, you can use it in there, so let me just get something quick, let me get some a leather tunic, okay, so let's put my leather tunic into the anvil and then the enchanted book with protection 3 and it will give you a leather tunic with prote uh, protection 3 now, wait a sec, wait okay, so now you have this leather tunic let me just put it on, see what it looks like Right. So you've got this now, and using that enchanted book, you have now got yourself a. Let's get a few of these actually. A enchanted tunic, or tunic, or anything. So let's enchant a few more now. Let's just. What's this one? Sharpness. Let's just get a few more that I might be able to use. Punch. All of these are definitely not ones I want to be using. Efficiency, good. Efficiency. It's not giving me the ones I want. But check, there we are. Now we've got another one here. Ah, oh, screw it, I don't want to. Now if you go back over to your anvil, you put your tunic in again. And then you put in your projectile protection one. Then it, it gives you. Now this is a bit odd. I found it a bit odd. Just hit the mic. Whoops. Um. If you to add this, it now I imagine this needs a lot of work done on it um, because I'm getting like lots of different. Let's, put this, oh, let's just grab myself a pickaxe then. Wait, there we go. God dang it! Right, so you put your pickaxe in first one. Efficiency for for six enchantment levels. Let's find another one. Sharpness punch. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'd have our efficiency, and then we'd put fortune on it as well. So we've got efficiency, and now fortune. Now let's see if we can get something else that may be able to go. With. Aha. Let's. This does need a lot of work on it. I have to say so myself. 
Um, it seems like I'm getting mostly the same ones over and over here. I'm not getting any really good enchanted books. But if you get what I mean, like you can add many of these, but if you, you can't add th third ones under it, what did I just pick up? Aha! So if you see this here, I've got a Fortune 2, and I've added a Fortune 2, and it's now giving me Fortune 3. So there are some advantages to it, but again, it's all like, it all needs a lot of work, so. Blue trail feather will make it a burst in blue. 
glowstone dust. Oh crap, it's raining. You'll make it twinkle. Wait a sec. Come on. Top down for. Right, um a golden nugget. We'll make it star shaped. A fire charge will make it a large ball. And a head will make it creeper shaped. So then let's make our uh, fireworks out of them. So let's go like this. Now this one's a flight duration one. They're all going to be one. So I can see them blue and it's going to have a trail. Oh crap. What is that? Oh crap. Damn it. I just made loads of... I didn't want that. LOL Right There Right, so the next one This will be Blue Burst This one Blue Twinkle This one Star Shaped This one Large Ball And this one will be Creeper Shaped So let's grab all this back Right, so the first one is uh, Trail Watch that, see, like with the trail it all goes outwards, but if I have to get a normal one, uh, like this. Oh crap, wait. <laughs> Not doing very well. Uh, right, this one. Right, this one. <laughs> This one is just, it just explodes and it doesn't go very fast, but the trail one leaves a big sort of trail. The second one is burst. Um, this one goes up and it sort of bursts, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe not the favourite one, it's not really big. This one's twinkle, I, oh, I really like this one. Ah, and then it all twinkles at the end. Oh. This one star shaped. Uh, um, the large ball one. Let's show the large ball one. That's huge compared to the. Right, let's see if I can. As you can tell, there's a big difference. Yeah. Another creeper face one. This one may need a bit of work on it as well. I guess so you place it down and the creeper face it really all depends like like sometimes it faces towards you other times it doesn't but it's all a bit special but I like that one so that's the fireworks more or less or in a nutshell I guess you could say and the last thing they've added is um the ability to uh, place redstone on um crafting tables, furnaces and dispensers so let me get myself a furnace and a dispenser and things like that so what you'd normally do if you tried to place redstone on a crafting table you'd go into the crafting table but they've made it so there's this bit around here if you crouch and go onto it, it then places it on it so then you can go around your day doing that, you can't do on anvils or chests but again you can also do it with the this pen size and the furnaces so I quite like that I guess if you need to somehow get round something that can't be redstone controlled or something or something that you can't place redstone on they may add it so you can so that was the last thing they have added into it so we're gonna end it off here guys if you did like the video be sure to leave a like or whatever comment below as well if you want to see me do more of this um, but so I'll end it off here guys thanks so much for watching this has been Kirby 17 on Mike and see you guys later